Hello, it's Joe Clients, and we're covering regular expressions again today. And in this video, I'm going to talk through classes. Um, and here's the simple thing. So here I have some text down here. Regular expressions, of course, is the text pattern matching stuff. And I'm going to put in um, using like ranges. So that's where you use these brackets. And I can say, I can put in letters here and pipe delimit them. Oops, and it'll pick up. Um, the, the, you know, this is basically the same or. I want an A or an E or an I, but what's cool is, let's say I want to do A through B, I'm sorry, that's a stupid one, A through D, right, I can do ranges, A through M, um, A through Z, of course we'll get any of these. Now, because I've made it lowercase, let's get rid of the, um, I here, and notice it doesn't pick up that capital H and the capital I, right, that's because those are lowercase. Um, the I is what makes it case insensitive. Um, or I can come in here and I can put in this, and I think I need the pipe here, and say A to Z, so I can get them that way, right? So I'm looking for ranges of letters, any lowercase A through Z or uppercase A through Z. Uh, and I can also do digits. So I can say I want digits um, 0 through, let's say, uh, 3 right, and I'll pick those up, or I can say, let's say, two, th uh, well, alright, three through five, well, of course I have no three through five, three through eight, and I get that six there. Uh, let me come down here and change just to say 25th, just so we can make sure we're getting those things. So that's how ranges work. Now another way you can do this is, let's, so I'm going to put back in A to Z, and it's getting that, but what if um, I, I wanted to exclude those. So what I can do is I can say, put in the caret, and that'll say not. It says, I want everything that's not A to Z. So this is how I can exclude, or let's say I want to exclude uppercase letters. A to Z. Now I've dropped out. I'm trying to figure out why the uh, that W isn't getting picked up in world. Um, that seems weird to me. I see the capitals on there and there. I don't know why that's not getting grabbed, but um, maybe that's something with the program. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, and I can say not um, in the ranges from 1 to 3, and so it doesn't pick up the 1s and the 2s. Um, or let's go back and get it the 0, so I can drop that out. Um, so those are quick, easy ways to do ranges. The um, thing to remember here also is, is uh, let's say I was doing, um, let's put it back to not, so <coughs> I'm going to have a, a l um, the first range, let's say I want to, I'm trying to think, of, I want to be able to show the, um, how to escape some characters, and in here, because I think inside here you need to escape Hello world, how are you? Let's add a question mark here. I am great. So, in here, if I want to say I want to get the dot, so, oh, okay, so it's in here, you don't have to escape it. Outside, you have to escape that. And I can escape it um, by saying dot. And so it'll pick up there. If I didn't have that, it'll actually get everything, because the dot is just a, an overall. We're going to cover that in a different video. Um, but that's the quick, easy way. Um, there are in in Auto Hotkey. Uh, let me paste them in here just to have it handy. I grabbed them. These are characters, and again, I don't think it's inside that class. Uh, and so inside the brackets, they're okay. But outside the brackets, you have to escape these, and you escape them with the backslash sign. So if you actually need to escape a backslash, um, you put in two backslashes, and that takes care of it. Uh, but anyway, that's it for, for this video. Just want to demonstrate um, using ranges, which are very helpful, but there are a lot of other shortcuts that I use instead of ranges. Um, it's just it, regular expressions has a ton of different ways to do things, and this is one of them, and we will cover some of the other um, escapes, which, which help that as well. Thank you.